Do you want Joe Cipriano's studio? If so, you're in the wrong place. Do you want to be a gorilla when it comes to home studios? If so, then welcome to Keaton's Corner. Is this you? My closet is too small. That traffic is too loud. I don't get no respect. Sorry, Rodney Dangerfield, that's a double negative and I can't help you with that. But those first two things, maybe. Keaton's Corner is about to blow your mind with insight. Yo, if you got minimal time and budget, then throw that pride on out the window, cause we can't all be Joe Cipriano. Studios are supposed to be heard and not seen, so focus less on making it look like it costs you a thousand dollars. Don't lie. And more on making your space work for you. Totally made up example. Let's say you have a seven foot tall closet with a why is that not a square floor? Also in this made up example, it's an inner city apartment of Chicago with two roommates, creaky floors, and a lease. Seems insurmountable, right? Well, Morgan Keaton is here to tell you from hypothetical experience that it can be done. I'm just kidding, it's not hypothetical. You will need willpower. Also blankets and rope lights. And if you can handle it, a couch cushion. Step one, make a thick layer of blankets. Step two, bang some nails. Step three, install the plastic mount. Step four, you snap those lights in. Step five, you shove that couch cushion up into your ceiling. Step six, break it down. With Morgan Keaton's patented dance moves last seen at Voice 2010. Do you have four hours? Do you have 25 bucks? Do you have what it takes? If you said yes to the last three options, then you can do it Morgan Keaton style. Remember, this is a quick and dirty guide that will get the job done. When you're ready to graduate, you call somebody like Dan Leonard. This has been Keaton's Corner. Rock on! Peace.